Hi guys, we're back on Talia Papa. Power. Cooking with Papa. And um, that's Talia. That's Papa. Yeah, we got cameraman Luca up here. Usually that's Superman. Yes. Usually yeah. this is Super Papa, right? Yeah, because there's a picture of him. Yeah, over there is a picture of me as Super Papa. Maybe we'll show it to them at the end of the show. You know what? Because it's getting close to Halloween and that was a Halloween costume, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, special show today. And what are we what are we making? Italian tacos with Italian rice. Yes, Italian tacos with Italian rice. Now, who invented the Italian rice? Uncle Gary. Uncle Gary in New York in Long Island, and we're going to do our version of it today because when Uncle Gary did Italian rice, he mixed it with sausage. We got all the ingredients and we made a little change, but the sausage is in our Italian tacos, huh? And we're going to show you that too over at Italia's house. But for the show today, we're going to show you our version of Italian rice. Because Italian tacos are a little different, aren't they, Talia? Yeah. Talia invented in ta uh, Italian tacos. And we're going to use her daddy's special sausage mix. And we're going to use crushed tomatoes and arugula and mozzarella. Say mozzarella. 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 And then a little bit of special topping on top. So we'll show you that later too. But first, that's hard, I need to be careful. But first we're gonna start our Italian rice. Now. And the ingredients are. The ingredients are rice, which we already made and it's waiting. And this is some, the first one is, what the, oh, what's the first one? Okay, then first ingredient, this is for the toppings for the rice. So that's, Olive oil. Olive oil. Okay, let's get a good amount of olive oil in here. Yeah, there we go. And of course, this is organic extra virgin olive oil. Okay, Tal, first thing we're putting in. Celery and onions. Celery and onions. Celery and onions. All of it. All of it. There we go. You always need to do it nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, right. Here's yours. We're gonna cook this up a little bit. And of course, when we put in our celery and onions, we always have to add a little bit. Of salt. Yep, of pink Himalayan salt, because that helps them to sweat. Sweat. And that means the juices come out. Okay? Keep stirring, Tals. Now, as Talia is stirring the onions and celery, I'm going to tell you what else goes in this. We have sliced portobello mushrooms. Mushrooms are my favorite. They're your favorite? Yeah, okay. Sliced mm -hmm. mushrooms. They'll, not yet. They're not ready to go in yet. First, we've got to get this nice and sauteed. <laughs> Okay, now we have our mushrooms. Then after that, we'll put in our fresh chopped garlic. garlic. Always fresh chopped. Not yet, honey. Not yet. Yes. This got to get soft first a little bit. And then our special mixture of black olives and, and green olives. Green, and they are Castle of Entrano olives. Uncle Gary's favorites. One of my favorites, too. Those will go in. And, of course, we're going to have Talia. Can you hand me the, uh, the, the no, you can't reach it, huh? Yeah, I could. Oh, good. Of course, our mixed Italian seasoning, right? The very end, we'll probably put on, whoopsie. <laughs> you remember last time? I remember last time. Of course, we got some fresh chopped parsley. All these great flavors. And then, at the end, of course, Parmigiano cheese. Ah, and today we have our favorite pecorino, Romano, pecorino, pecorino. <laughs> Does everybody see how Talia did her makeup for today? Doesn't she do a beautiful job? She takes after her mommy. And look how tall she is. I can't believe we're almost the same height. Oh. Hey, I got on my Cooking with Papa apron. From Christina Paints. Thanks, Christina. 
So we're mixing up our mushrooms and our onions and our celery. Okay. Now, Tals, you know what I want you to do right now? I want you to pinch, pinch, and sprinkle our Italian seasoning. That's it. Pinch and sprinkle. One more. Perfect. I'll give it another little shot of olive oil. And then I And you start stirring. So, you know, we have to do this in layers, folks, because we want some of these things cook faster than others. And we don't want, we want to have it nice and evenly cooked, so we do it in order. So if you're taking notes at home, this is the order. You always start with onions and then celery. Onions and celery can go in together. Then you go with your mushrooms, add a little more seasoning. After we get this cooked a little bit, we're going to add in the garlic. We don't ever want the garlic to overcook, but we want to get a nice flavor from it. Right, Tals? We like garlic? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we love garlic. Yeah. Now, we love, we love mushrooms. These are Italian mushrooms. Did you know that? Portobello. And plus the fresh beans they were from fresh time. Exactly. They're fresh from fresh time. I, look how beautiful that's starting to look. I just look at it's everybody see. Look at that, how beautiful. Mmm. How's it smell? Good. Mm. Can you get a whiff up there, Luca? Smelling it? Oh, yeah. yeah? Don't be shy. Speak up. It smells good. Okay, good. Luca says it smells good. Hey, what'd you do today, this morning? Where did you go? Hmm? Didn't go anywhere. Yes, you did. Where'd you and Luca go with me? Oh, we went to um, Pulitzer and went to the training room. <laughs> no, because we went, um, we got candy. And then yeah, got yeah, candy. and you got a bunch of stuff. Well, we, I, they came with me to a, a nutrition conference. We were working with our friends at Nutritional Frontiers. They are taking yeah. them away. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You, keep, you flip. We went to a uh, nutrition conference with our friends from Nutritional Frontiers, and, and Talia start, uh, was advertising the uh, probiotic chewables, right? Your belly vitamins. Mm -hmm. Talia, Talia and Luca, they were showing everybody how they take their probiotics. Oh, you can see the yeah, you can see it, huh? And your vitamin C, you took that too, right? Yeah. Chewable. Yeah. Even when we were there, yeah. we just, we were done, so we didn't want to put it back in. So, dorm, so we just ate it. Just ate it. And then they got to go around to all the booths and, you know, get all the pens and back scratchers and tablets and la flashlights, right? Yeah, we got yeah. a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. All right, don't, don't scoop it right out of the pan. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty good. Tao, I think it's time for the olives. Yeah. There you go. And then we pour them. Every just to say that... Got to say that every time, huh? It's Gently pour oh, sure. them in. Got it? So basically what we're doing here is making kind of like our own version of a caponata, except we don't have any eggplant in this one. And, uh, or it could even be a version of a muffaletta. You know, that's mo but that's primarily olives with a lot of oil, some, uh, you know, some other veggies like peppers and celery. And some uh, and some vinegar. So we might add a little pinch of some muffaletta later. But this looks tremendous. You want to use the wooden spoon? Yeah. Okay. Use the wooden spoon. Oh boy, does that look good? Just kind of, you know, shake it around like that. Mm-hmm. It's looking good. Okay. Oh, I just got a chunk of everything. You sure did. Yeah. That nice thing. Oh, let's show them the... Show it to them? Yeah, okay, look how actually, beautiful that that's looks. That's actually going to taste really good. Oh, it's going to taste so good. Right, so tomorrow. Today. It's going to taste good to taste. I think, Tal... Yo, sweat, it's time for... The garlic. Get all the garlic. Garlic is our favorite. Garlic's our favorite. And cheese. And cheese. Let's mix it up. Put that garlic mm -hmm. mesh in there. Oh, my God. What does that mean? <laughs> it just means, oh, my God. 
Ramanaj. 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 Yeah. Luca doesn't like game video, which is okay. It to not to be shy. In video. He's not shy. He's just good at being a cameraman. And he doesn't. Like we need a cameraman, video. don't we? Yeah, we get yeah. on the phone too. Look at that! Beautiful. Hey, Tao, how about another pinch of seasoning? Get it all around. Sprinkle. That's a girl. One more. And of course, you know, this is oregano and basil and a little thyme. Mmm, God, does that smell good. We wish you could smell this because it smells so good. The funny thing he always says about is. I mean, if people were here, like Uncle Gary and Aunt Lorraine, yeah. they Yeah. You want to give them another shout out? Uncle Gary and Aunt Lorraine? Yeah. We're making your rice. Yeah. Italian rice invented by Uncle Gary Messino. And they're just, the rice is just behind us. Yep. Okay, this is almost ready. And we're going to let this cook for just a few more minutes and then we'll be right back and show you how we just kind of layer it into the rice and then we're going to keep it warm in the oven for a little bit because we're not ready to, to eat it yet. We're going to have it over. Chunk. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's one of the, the beauties of this dish. You can make it in advance and you can warm it up in the oven. It's just as good. This is going to go great with our Italian tacos. So we'll be right back. Today, we're having Italian rice. This is a little different from the one my brother invented, Mr. Gary Messino in Long Island. We put our own little twist on it. And of course, when we're making Italian tacos, it's the sausage. We don't use any beef. And the toppings, crushed tomatoes, mozzarella, and arugula. And then we have a little extra sauce, but the piece de resistance, the mafaletta, which is what, sweetie? Olives. Olives. Okay, everybody say bon appetito. Bon appetito.